Hello everybody, Nolan of Black Diamond Services. I'm out doing some tile and the problem we got here is this is an unglazed tile and then also uh, they had some construction or something going on here and whoever did it did not protect the floors and got drywall dust on it and the bigger problem is is it's been cleaned with something over the counter so you can see it's got this white haze on it. I tested a spot here and this is pretty much completely dried out and we're about good to go. So what I had to do is use an acid cleaner and then I used my, my stripping scrub pad um, to do this edge here so I didn't worry about hitting the baseboards or anything like that. So I'm gonna be stripping the floor basically with uh, my buffer, black pad, and a, a guard on it to protect from the cleaner spitting all over the place. And then I'm gonna neutralize it and rinse it off afterwards. Because this seems to be what's doing the trick. I've tried other stuff and it didn't work just out of curiosity. Um, but the acid is what's doing the, the deal here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this started. I'm gonna do all the outside first. All right, so next step, strip the floor, get the buffer pad and the acid cleaner. Now I already scrubbed the, the edges, did those areas with that hand tool. You can see I got a guard on the outside of the buffer here to help protect myself from the cleaner being flung around so it helps keep it contained. Unfortunately there's only one nearby plug in this area so after I'm done I'll have to wipe off I got my power cable here. Not a large amount of tile, but you know they didn't know what they were jumping into when they bought this tile. And of course, the real problem was somebody getting drywall dust all over the floor and not properly vacuuming thoroughly, wetting it causing that white haze to happen. Alright, so it's been stripped, it's been cleaned, it is still drying out in some areas. But, as you can see, it's still a little damp here. But it all came off. It does look different, two different directions. So, it just needs to be wiped down. As I was pulling my line out and stuff like that, you can see there's a little bit there. So this just needs to be basically a light neutral clean type deal to finish it off. But um, like I said over here, out of curiosity, this tile here, I stripped it. Uh, when I came here to do an estimate, I didn't have any acid on me. So I used a strong alkaline just to see if that would pop it. And it did get stuff off the surface, but only like the dirt. It didn't do anything for the drywall dust um, that somebody kind of caked into the floor. Um, so it's a little harder to do because it's an unglazed tile, um, but uh, the acid cleaner and the stripping pad with the buffer is what did the trick. And then basically I'm going to seal the grout and then this will be all done. Adam is actually on the other side of the house doing carpet and some other tile. Thankfully it's glazed tile and not a, a little more problematic like this one. And then. In the door over here, we're going to be doing some uh, LVP, luxury vinyl planks, or um, laminate floors, clean those up for them, and then we'll be all done. So I just wanted to show you guys the results, 
and then also inform you if you ever run into a problem like this. Uh, make sure you have a scrubbing pad to do the edges so you don't worry about splashing any acid cleaner onto the baseboards, causing swelling and stuff like that. And then buff it, use a guard around your buffer so you don't spread the acid cleaner amongst the walls and then pressure rinse it and extract. And, and in this case, if it's the same scenario, you'll be good to go. All right, so my final step is to seal. And I am spreading it across the entire surface and into the grout joints as well. I applied some sealer on the floor on the outer sides and then bolts pulling it into the tile and the, <clears throat> mainly for the grout. So I've already test cleaned and test sealed one area so I know how it's going to respond and I had no issues with doing it this way as the tile seemed to do just fine. Just like I said it earlier in the video it needed an acid rinse to get everything off of it. So I wish it was going to have this kind of a little bit of a wet look, but it, it will dry out and look as it did earlier after the cleaning. Personally, I kind of like the darker look that it gives you, which you could accomplish that if you use an enhancer sealer, I'm sure it would give it that more wet look. I don't typically like to apply those, I just use solvent sealer and that does the trick for all jobs that I need to do. If they want a wet look it's usually a stone, a more glossy look so I usually suggest doing the uh, polishing, give it a natural shine rather than put a coating on it and have to potentially strip that off later on. So this is the end result. Um, like I said, it'll dry and it'll go back to its normal kind of rustic look, which was what they were going for when they had this floor installed. Just unfortunately, somebody got drywall dust all over it and caused a big problem, but I'm glad I was able to fix it for her. That way they can have their floor back to normal. And then um, hopefully it'll get cleaned periodically, once a week I would say, neutral cleaned, and then have us out to professionally clean it about once a year, maybe sooner, because there is a lot of pets, uh, but we'll see. I told her try for a year. If it looks like it's getting bad sooner, then give us a call. So hopefully this has been informative for somebody, or at least cool to see. Um, that way, if somebody runs into a problem like this, maybe they'll come across this video and be like, man, I'm glad I saw that, because it was a learning experience for me too, finding out um, how to get this stuff to come off a uh, tile like this what process I should use and what seemed to work so a little recap I uh, of course vacuumed the floor first and then I applied a acid cleaner of course it's diluted the acid cleaner and I did the walls with a scrub brush and a, a basically a scrub brush with a stripping pad piece on the bottom of it and then I used the buffer to Use the stripping pad across the rest of the floor and then I rinsed it off using a little over a thousand psi and uh, warm water and then let it dry out and now of course what you're seeing now sealing it so hopefully that helps somebody I like coming across videos like these that uh, something I haven't quite done yet or maybe haven't done and because I saw it and wasn't sure what to do um, it's always helpful to learn something new and learn something from another person because um, somebody might have a method that <clears throat> works better for you and somebody might have another method that uh, works better for somebody else. So learning from multiple people is only gonna make you better at your job. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. See you in the next one. All right, so this is actually wood. Or of a vinyl plank that 
this is kind of where their pets hang out. And it hasn't been professionally cleaned by a heavier machine or anything. And, uh, I can't remember how many years she said it's been. But I think she keeps up on it fairly well because I believe there's like four or five cats in the house. And then a bunch of dogs too. So I would expect this floor to be thoroughly beat up unless it was being taken care of, swept and maybe steam off at the very least. So I'm running, this is called a Dirt Dragon. And I'm running IFT from basic coatings. Hasn't given me any problems ever with wood or laminate floors. Pretty easy to do. So it's explanatory for the most part. 